hello guys welcome and welcome back to my channel my name is petit given if you're new to this channel don't forget to hit the subscribe button and also to click the notification bell to make sure you're notified every time i post a new video yes guys i am uh, so excited today i have come with a very serious topic so i'm trying to dress up all serious as you can see and that's because uh today's topic is um career talk you know we are almost at the end of the year and i know we have um grade 12s they're already thinking about careers they're already thinking about what they would do once they are done with their exams and you know i feel like that is um a process that um is sometimes down played because it is a very serious thing whatever you choose you're most likely going to do that for the rest of your life and sometimes we get pushed into careers that we don't know anything about just because um especially in zambia if it's a health course or it's an education course most people will rush into that because they're assuming it's going to be easy to find a job once you do that health course so in this um video today i'm going to try to explain uh, a little bit about what biomedical sciences is so if you guys don't know if any of you don't know i am a biomedical technologist by profession so i know one or two things about this uh topic and what it is and so if you want to learn what it is or if you want to know more about biomedical sciences stick around and watch this video in full so in front of me, I have a book where I have written down a few points. Uh, so I'm going to be looking down a lot. Uh, so don't mind that. Yeah, so I'm going to start by defining or rather uh, introducing the topic. So like I said in my introduction, I'm going to be talking about biomedical sciences, what it is, what it involves, what you expect, what you should do once you become a biomedical scientist, and uh, yeah, just everything that involves uh, that field. Yeah, so let's uh, start by defining biomedical sciences. So I'm going to read what uh, I googled, what Google gave me, and then I'm also going to tell you what um, I understand, you know, like in layman's language, what is biomedical sciences. But right now, let me just define this um, the way Google defined it. So this is a set, or rather, sorry, this is the field of study that focuses on the areas of biology and chemistry that are relevant to health care. Yes, so that is like, um, yes, that is like put very well. But in layman's language, I would say uh, biomedical sciences is a field that deals with diagnosis and also finding out uh, what disease the person has. Sometimes also goes further to find out what medicine will work on whatever that disease is. And also, yeah, so you also uh, get to advise doctors on what you think um, should be given to that patient, what medication should be given to that patient. So this is diagnosis. And then uh, after you diagnose that infection or disease, then you now find out what medicine is going to work for that disease. And then you're going to advise the doctors to say, okay, this is what is going to work on this patient. So that is what I would uh, define it in layman's language to make it simpler for everybody to understand. So there's also this confusion that I've noticed, especially in Zambia. People don't understand the difference between biomedical sciences, biomedical technologist, and biomedical technician. So you find that everybody refers to anybody who works in the lab as a biomedical techno technician or lab tech. Most people like to say this, uh, they'll refer to us as a lab tech. So lab tech can be short form of technician or technologist, but in this case in Zambia, okay, the door just opened. Look at what happened here. <laughs> Let me close the door. Yeah, so like I said, most people uh, refer to us as biomedical technicians or lab techs you know but um so uh, there's what we call a biomedical technician a biomedical technologist and a biomedical sciences the or the difference between these three is the level of study so a biomedical technician this is a certificate holder and then a technologist is a diploma holder and then a scientist is a degree holder or higher level so you find that this person is going to be referred to as a biomedical scientist because they have gone further in their studies. I am a biomedical technologist because I am a diploma holder. I am not a technician. And so sometimes when people say a lab tech, I don't really understand what they're trying to say. Are they trying to say technologist or technician because it can apply to both, but I am a technologist by profession. 
so i hope you people understand all of you who like saying lab tech so i'm also going to go further and define what a biomedical engineer is an engineer is a person that works um in repairing or maybe even making machinery that, that are found in the lab so that is their job they don't do any diagnosis their job is just to come in when the machine is down or to make those machines when they are needed and that is what we refer to as biomedical engineering there's also what we call biomedical sorry science laboratory technologist so with these they work in a lab quite all right but it is not a health lab so it's not a health related lab it has to do with making you know those people that sometimes make um, body creams they make whatever they make but it is using chemicals but in a lab and it has nothing to do with health healthcare. those are referred to as science laboratory technologies i hope you guys are getting the difference so yes so with that being said let me just go straight into my experience as a biomedical technologist i have worked for four years almost four years now in december i'll be clocking four years so i have a little bit of experience uh yeah so um let me start by getting a job in zambia like i want to just uh, trash down that um thing that most people have that once you do a health course you're going to get a job like this like in an instance like i feel like those things used to happen a long time but now if you're zambian then you know definitely that it is not happening now people are staying for three four years i personally stayed for almost two years before i got a job in fact for two years before i got a job and it is not easy and um it is happening in fact things are getting worse now people are staying for three four years five years without getting a job even if it is a health course and even if it is um a biomedical course like i am doing so yeah once i got a job i started working for mukinga mission hospital so that was a bigger lab right now i'm working at a slow a smaller lab it is a clinic lab so um it is kind of different different in terms of experience that side you know it is a hospital it is big so you find that you work on a lot of samples we have a lot of machines in the lab we handle different um tests and i had more experience there and i'm glad i said from there before i came to where i'm working now because where i am it is like the workload is quite smaller the one thing that i've noticed though about biomedical technology in zambia i'm going to talk about about zambia because that is where i am that is where i am and that is what i have experience in so in zambia it's almost like um it is almost routine work you know i don't know if that is how it is in other countries as well but i feel like it's probably because we are limited to what we can do we don't have the, the resources to do more as a country so there's only a few things that we can do so if you find that we are always diagnosing the same diseases because we have the same machines we have the same chemicals and we can only do so much so you find that we are always doing the same um diseases and then it becomes almost synonymous is that a word like you know you keep on doing the same thing every day so at some point it feels like you're not learning you know like it feels like you go for work you do the same thing you come back you go back tomorrow you do the same thing you come back at least that is my experience but i feel like it is different in other um, uh, especially research labs where they are trying to research about new things they are learning they are finding out stuff i feel like it is more interesting than to work in a lab that is uh at the level that i'm working at right now but if you're a person that loves a science if you love anything to do with mathematics and sciences then i feel like you're going to enjoy this career because when studying biomedical sciences guys in zambia guys like hey first year is calculations all round like whether it is in physics in chemistry it is all calculations non-stop so if you love math then you're going to definitely enjoy first year of biomedical technologies then uh, third year second and third year you stop calculations you're now into more of practical and theory so it becomes more about studying and practical in second and third year so i really did enjoy myself in second and third year first year was a hassle because i am not a calculations person you know it was a hassle but at some point i had to get my you know i had to learn to do this thing and uh, i feel like after at some point i got the hang of it and i got so good at doing calculations that i actually stopped enjoying theory you know it became easier for me to do calculations than it was for me to study so i feel like um if you have the heart to learn and to 
steady because it is bulky that is one thing that i realized it is so bulky you know and it is a lot you have to learn to juggle your your career your, your studies and your personal life at some point in first year i felt suffocated because i felt like i could not do anything else other than study in in, in school i could not go out with my friends or play with my friends and i felt suffocated but that's because um i feel like it was easier for people that enjoyed mathematics and found it easy because for them it was like it was a walkover but for me i had to do twice or three times the job for me to get that uh regulation you know so i feel like if you're choosing a career make sure you find something that you're going to enjoy when studying and also when working so if you enjoy mathematics find something that uh, involves calculations like accounts something that involves um calculations in any career in any field of work but as long as it involves calculations and even in study then do that if you like things that you do, and guys let me just stress this one thing do not think if you can't do something then you are dull i'm going to use the word dull because most of the times we feel like if i can't do math then i'm dull if i can't do biology then i'm dull we are good at different things so if you are good at english there's a lot of things that you can do if you are good at English. You don't have to become an English teacher. You cannot. You can do so much. Like you can become a journalist. You can become a writer. You can become a a, a what is a a, a, a what is a presenter. You can do so much as an as somebody who loves English. And if you love sciences, you can definitely do um, health courses. You can do a lot of um, courses that involve. Uh, sciences if you love calculations again you have to just know what you love know what you enjoy know what you know more and then find a career that speaks to you in those lines and even when you're in school you are definitely going to find it easy to study and you're going to be able to be able to juggle both um, your work your career story and your personal life because guys both of these things are important if you go to school and all you're doing is studying you will not enjoy school and school i feel like it is meant to be enjoyed so in conclusion i would like to say biomedical sciences is a very good course especially if you love mathematics sciences and english because that is what this course involves it's all about calculations it's all about um english definitely because you're going to be doing things you're going to have to be writing a lot of things and also a lot of uh, science so if you are good at these topics then definitely you're going to enjoy biomedical sciences and uh, yeah so i wish you all the best if you are looking into finding a career uh, yeah, so make sure you find something that you're going to enjoy and if you can't find something that you enjoy You can always find something that you can work with at that particular time and then later on when you are Settled and you are doing good then you can now do what you would love to do for the rest of your life You know because I understand that sometimes in Zambia you don't have the finances your parents want you to want you to do something something because i feel like it is going to benefit you more um, in terms of financially or maybe especially if it comes to finding a job so that should not limit you in any way do what you have to do now and then later on do what you would love to do for the rest of your life i hope you get what i'm trying to say so guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you guys have enjoyed it and i also hope you have learned one or two things from it so if you're one of those people that are looking for a career or are trying to find out what you want to do i hope uh, this video has given you an insight of what biomedical sciences is and uh, i hope you can now decide whether you want to do it or not and if you do decide to do it congratulations you're coming into my career <laughs> yes yeah, so uh thank you so much for watching you guys i love you see you in the next video